What'd you do, Joe? I was stupid and left a bale on the back of a uh, grown baler. I'm not scolding you, I'm just glad you're not dead. Yeah. gonna post a picture on Instagram which I probably already have um, what we're doing is we're putting a steady pressure back onto the hitch to bring it back into alignment it wasn't bent bad Joe thought it was worse than what it was but it wasn't um, we've bent in here this thing right here where this mounts to which is in turn cause that power takeoff shaft to be out of alignment So I'm in the process of removing that gearbox, getting it out of the way, and getting a sledgehammer on that bad boy and going for broke on it, which I feel, in reality, will actually straighten it right back out. But I've got constant pressure on it to try to realign some of those atoms. Uh, when the tire went up against here, it jackknifed. It jackknifed and pushed him down the road, um, crashed into the into the ditch with it kind of made a bit of a mess but I think this is what caused that to bend so it's nothing too alarming let's put it that way and I didn't actually see the hitch move at all when I put all that pressure onto it but it's just good to put pressure on it kind of rack it you know 
I've smacked it a few times here with a sledgehammer, kind of create a vibration or a harmonic that will actually just reset where it's supposed to be. I can't get that to come out. The only way I'm going to get that out is if I actually weld a big old nut onto it and start pulling it with the tractor. And I may do that and then grind them off and then repaint it, but I, I don't think we're going to worry about that today. These jobs are not without dangers and issues. You just have to roll with the punches and get on with the day, and that's really what we're doing. So yeah, I think we're okay. I mean, this you, hey Peyton, jump up on that thing. Watch this. Yeah, barely moved. He can walk right across it. Hey Joe, jump up on there. Be more impressive. Hey, he's a lot heavier. I actually think it's gone slack it a little has, bit. It has so it is, we're realigning the planets here. Um, let's say we get this box the rest of the way off. I'm ready to take it off and we'll smack that back and start putting her back together. The only thing that got broken, and the only thing was this handle, of course that little dent there, and he ripped the wires out of my ISA bus. But it didn't damage the box up there. It just ripped it out. It just ripped it out. You know what that means? Just get a brick and stuff. Yeah, it just broke it. But that's it. And it could have been a whole lot worse. I mean, the tractor was up on two wheels. But anyways, whatever. Let's get on with it. Okay, good morning. Uh, this is the end of the video. But uh, this is a video that I tried and tried and tried and tried to upload weeks ago. And I just failed miserably. So I just went to the short little live streams that I did. Um, this nobody got hurt in this thing and uh, it was it was a bit of a pain in the ass because we had to you know we only I lost one day of bailing with this baler that's it and uh, as you can probably tell I'm pretty tired in my voice I just got home last night literally last night the or this morning at four o'clock July 10th which today is July 10th so this morning at four o'clock I rolled in for this morning I rolled in uh, we just wanted to get a video up just because uh, I am back, and there you go. But uh, got lots of work to do. This tractor and baler are on a truck on its way up here. If you watch uh, ISX Cummins 565, you will know that. Uh, he posted a video about 13, 14 hours ago. Me and William are having all to say about what we're doing here. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, he is uh, on his way back up. And... That's just the way it is. And then I have to go back down yet today for tomorrow because today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. I have to load the second baler up to bring that up. And I just don't want anybody else to have that responsibility other than me because it's my equipment. Plus, I have to drag the, uh, the hay wagon home. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it wasn't fun to make this video because it was really something that should not have happened. Uh, but inexperience is what caused this. Um, Joseph had uh, actually, I think I said that in the beginning of the video. I'm so tired and forget what the hell this video was about in the beginning anyway. Uh, Joseph had left a 2,200-pound bale or 2,700-pound bale on the back. It took the weight off the tongue, which allowed the tail to wag the dog. And, of course, bam, jackknife and the whole enchilada. So thanks for watching. Stick around because I got... Uh, the normal normal videos are coming at you